talk about them. You know, this week, the International Widows Week was celebrated this week, and I was opportunity to work with Tender Hearts Foundation. You know, the act of giving, that's what we talked about in this program last week. We said the act of giving is something that is natural in you. If you don't have it in you, you can force yourself to do it. Because if you force yourself to do it, you do it once, you do it twice, you're going to get tired. But once it is imbued, the act of giving is imbued, it comes naturally. Once it, once it is in you, you give. And I, like, I want to celebrate all Nigerians, I'm telling you. Because people are coming out more now to celebrate the widows. In those days, widows are left to be taken care of by churches and even musk. That is what they do to widows in those days. But in this day, I'm telling you, I'm so proud of everybody. I'm so proud of every Nigerian, especially those people that reaches out to people. Yes, because this time they are celebrating widows. They celebrate widows, they give them a lot of things. And this year, International Widows Day, uh, Tender Art Foundation, you know, the International Widows Day uh, took place on 23rd of June 2021. And I was opportune to go around to check what is it. What is happening? So I want to tell this at foundation. They had the uh, they celebrated the widows uh, uh, somewhere on the island. That is the team for their for the organization was for the celebration was um, themed invisible women, invisible problems. And I want to say kudos again to Ambassador Sally Otiwa. I'm sure I pronounced the name very well. And, uh, I want to say kudos to Ambassador Sally Otiwa, the founder and visionary. She's the founder and visionary of the Tender Art Foundation. She was honored and she was present at the day. Speakers came to honor the event because uh, the event is a continuum thing. It's not as if they just do it maybe once in four years or they just do it as a one-off team. No, it's a yearly, it's a yearly team. And the chairperson of Feeder too was there. Uh, salute to all feeders. To all feeders of saluting me because I was at one of your events last week, but definitely I'll bring the event to you tomorrow. God willing. Uh, I want to say kudos to this women, especially uh, Lady Sally. I call her Lady Sally. I want to say kudos to you. What you were doing, there is a reward for you people but you don't know. People might say, what are they doing? People might look at you and say, what is wrong with them? What are they doing? Why are they sharing things? But you know why you're doing it? Because the act of giving is imbued. That is my own definition of act of giving. If you don't have the act of giving, I'm telling you, you can give once and you get tired. But if it's in you, if it's imbued, if it's not ability, if it's a BNB, <laughs> if it's a BNB, <laughs> and if it's not ability, I'm telling you, you definitely want to do more more you keep doing you never get tired you keep doing you keep doing you keep doing and just like we told you on the show last week that the act of giving is not only by giving out money foods at times a hawk you need someone who is crying you can help them it's not until you have a million naira in your account or until you have 50 million naira in your account or until you have uh like uncountable accounts in your account there's nothing uncountable in your account though <laughs> until you have this huge amount of money in your account and you think that is when you start giving no at times you can hog a cleanse you can advise people when you say those people are going the wrong way advise them it's not the act of giving it's naturalizing built act of giving can come in different forms and in different ways uh let's check this event out together and i'll be back after the break don't touch that dial no dull moment with me trust me i'll be back we wait We're not in a hurry Oh, we need you, Lord We wait All our cares and worries Women are discriminated against, degraded, and dehumanized despite the provisions of our local status, such as the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, and various other international human rights instruments, which Nigeria ratified and domesticated. Surprisingly, some of these obnoxious cultural practices are tacitly accepted and implemented by fellow women. Can you imagine that? Fellow women, yes, they are always in the forefront. Most of the places we have been called that they refuse to allow the women to come in to bury their husbands, women. Either women from the husband's family or women who are trying to take up their 
another person's husband. And in the Bible, they are called what? Strangers. Isn't it? That's very terrible. In most states of federation in Nigeria, harmful practices have ensured that men retain material, social, and moral dominance over women. That they are simply unwilling to voluntarily relinquish. Women are regarded as property of cattle. And this dominates its customary laws on marriage, inheritance, succession, property ownership. This consequently is manifested in the discriminatory and obnoxious cultural traditional practices maintained against widows in Nigeria. Particularly the widows and widows, like I've mentioned, and even the northern parts of the country. The agony and sadness of a woman who lost her husband abroad. This is further compounded by the private and public maltreatment that culminates in the gross violation of her guaranteed fundamental rights of life, liberty, dignity of the human person, acquisition of private property, freedom of discrimination, freedom of thought, speech, conscience, and religion. All these are enshrined under our constitution, under chapter four of our constitution, and once it is under our grand norm, which is the constitution, are we not supposed to be protected? Are we just not supposed to be protected yes. with these provisions? So I'm using this medium to tell Fida that if there is a place you need to come to, is this local local government area? These practices are very dominant there. Yes, come and talk to the traditional rulers, to the men, because what data says, and I know one thing, that without a confrontation from the women, the men are not ready to shift ground. Because the cultures, the tradition favors them. So if you are not ready to react, there will not be change. And we have been groomed to accept whatever comes to us. I'm sitting here, she puts her, see his two hand up on his head. And she are doing like this, oh. And that is it. So we need this awareness, more of it. It is happening in Lagos states. It is happening in other states, and there is decided cases. Things that we can stand on. And this is to tell us that we women, when these issues are happening, we shouldn't be the one leading in front. We need, we, yes. No, when women are being maltreated, most times it's not even the men, it's the women that are maltreating women. Yes. So we need to be aware that these practices are against all of us. They are against us. Let's find a way to stop them. Let the awareness be there. Don't suck it in. Don't accept it that, ah, if my place is like this, we must accept like this. Let us react that this enough is enough. Culture is meant to change. It's a way of people. That's tradition. It's not supposed to be stagnant. It's supposed to change. Let us change for the better. So this is our cry. Um, so, um, just like what the current speaker is saying, I feel they just have to speak out at one point or the other because I, I understand that most of them are going through a lot of things and they need someone to talk to. So, I feel they speaking out and seeking out other regulated bodies to help them achieve some of the things they are going through this is the best way because you can't keep you know, a lot of things within yourself. You cause so many health issues for you. Depression and so I, I think this speaking out is one of the best ways. This time they know to help me. Even when I'm in Lagos, I'm below. I thank God to the the door is open because 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 of if it's not because I cannot know where I can find it. And with the sister, with this sister that went to fellowship together. We wait We're not in a hurry Oh, we need you We wait All our cares 
and words.